Uh, good morning. I want to thank Sages and the panelists for the privilege of the podium. I'm presenting um, the incestuous magnetic liver retraction um, combined um, work with uh, Duke and the Cleveland Clinic. I have nothing to disclose. Uh, the objective of the technology, the retraction of the liver is required to ensure a suitable working space in laparoscopic bariatric surgery. Commercially available devices for liver retraction can impart morbidity, including pain, direct liver compression, need for an additional incision that can have potential complications such as, as infection, bleeding, patient discomfort, and has a cosmetic impact such as scars. As any other new technology or new device, the goal is to improve safety outcomes and patient satisfaction. Using magnetic surgery, the goal is achieved by enhancing visualization and reducing the invasiveness of procedures. In our technique, we use a Nathanson retractor that requires an incision in the epigastrium and the insertion of the retraction. In our experience, that port in particular creates um, discomfort and pain, sometimes requiring um, increments in the pain medication control. Additionally, we've observed that after using the Nathanson retractor, there's some tissue changes. As you see depicted in the pictures, there's some um, tissue discoloration and even some um, organ congestion. So using an FDA-approved commercially available magnetic device from Levita Magnetic Surgical Systems, we have introduced a new technique using magnetic surgery to suspend the liver for the performance of various bariatric procedures. This is an incisionless retraction which may reduce trauma while maintaining an appropriate surgical field exposure. The magnetic surgical system comprises a magnetic grasper device with a detachable tip or grasper and an external magnet. The grasper goes in the abdomen through a tent port, attaches to the uh, target anatomy. Then using the external magnet on the anterior abdominal, um, abdominal wall, there is an attraction created that creates the exposure. Once the procedure is done, the external magnet is removed and the tip reattached to the shaft and removed from the abdomen. This is a little uh, video demonstrating the concept. The, the, the grasper enters the abdomen, attaches the liver, and with the external magnet on the abdominal wall, we create attraction, therefore creating this enhanced visualization and retraction. We've done uh, several cases here. I'm gonna demonstrate first a duodenal switch. Um, again, the grasper is entered uh, and, grab, and we grab the, the, the liver. The tip is detached and manipulate in such a way that it will be in contact with the anterior abdominal wall. The external magnet is coupled then and retracted. Then you can perform safely a sleeve gastrectomy. That, um, the, the grasper is then repositioned at the base of the falciform ligament. And again, the external magnet is manipulated on the anterior abdominal wall, so it will create a traction therefore enhancing the visualization of the operative field in preparation for the duodenal uh, dissection. And here you can see we create the tunnel underneath the, du the duodenum and we perform a duodenal ileal anastomosis with an endostage in a two uh, layer uh, fashion. Then the device is um, uncoupled from the external part and removed from the abdomen. We did another case in which we, I'm gonna demonstrate the retraction with a gastric band removal. Again, the, the grasper is placed in the liver and coupled to the anterior abdominal wall, creating the retraction with the external magnet as depicted here, and secured. Then with that retraction, we proceed to do the dissection over the, the fibrous capsule of the band using electrocautery. And here we demonstrate how easy it is to detach the, the tip of the grasper and repositioning in the, in the liver in an other area to enhance visualization and retraction. The liver is regrasped and opposed to the abdominal wall using the external magnet. As you can see here, the external magnet can be manipulated in such a way that it will walk through the abdominal wall, creating the retraction that you want. 
We, uh, we performed the surgeries in two uh, academic centers. We did a total of eight, three sleeves, two gastric bypasses, one duodenal switch, and one revision. In patients with BMI ranging from 18.3 to almost 50. No liver and parenchymal damage was evident during the surgery, and there were no complications attributed to the device. Surgeons described device deployment as technically simple and overall exposure as excellent. What are the benefits? Operative benefits include dynamic and constrained retraction, decreased organ trauma, and it's easy to use. While the post-operative include improved pain control, improved pain, uh, cos uh, cosmetic results with less scars, and this certainly aligns with the current era's efforts. In conclusion, the magnetic system is an incision-less uh, retraction system that enhances visualization while decreases invasiveness. Future efforts for research are undergoing. Thank you, I'm happy to take questions.